I'm Lancelot Pinto. I'm a consultant respirologist uh, at the PD Hinduja National Hospital and Medical Research Center, Mumbai. So TB uh, has a significant infectious disease burden in the country of, uh, of the close to 10 million cases of TB that are prevalent in the world. Uh, India bears about a quarter of those cases. Uh, when it comes to drug resistance scenario, we bear an even more significant burden. Uh, so India, China and the Russian Federation account for about 50% of all cases worldwide of drug resistant TB. And the problem seems to be growing as the years go by. So I think that our, uh, all of us have to put in our bit to, to improve the TB scenario in the country. Uh, from a community perspective, I think it's important uh, that cases uh, cases of individuals who have TB get uh, notified to the government because uh, we often don't have a real idea of what the case burden is and uh, follow up patients adequately. From a physician's perspective, I think diagnostics are extremely important because close to 40% of all TB patients don't even get diagnosed uh, till it's too late. Uh, and there are newer tests which are available which help the scenario and uh, physicians need to update their knowledge and skills as far as using these tests go. And from a government perspective, I think making these newer diagnostics and treatment uh, available uh, to, to the public at reasonable costs or even free whenever possible would be a great step in the right direction. And the government, I think, has already begun the process uh, of moving towards uh, universal drug testing and uh, treatment options. Uh, so globally, this, this, the mortality because of TB, the number of deaths because of TB uh, has been on the decline over the past decade or so. But the prevalence has kind of plateaued, and I think a lot of it is because of developing nations and because of the huge burden that we face in developing nations. Uh, so I think uh, the global community uh, can do its best, uh, can can do its bit in terms of providing us with the necessary funding and support, and uh, in in terms of newer drugs, newer diagnostics, uh, and and helping us uh, identify and cure more patients rapidly. So I think uh, South Africa is one country which introduced the gene expert uh, universally at a very early stage. So gene expert is a new molecular test for TB, and uh, it diagnoses TB in as less as, as two hours, you know, which is which is revolutionary uh, in terms of a diagnostic test. It also lets you know whether you're res where you whether you have standard TB or resistant TB very quickly. Uh, and South Africa adopted it uh, for the entire country really fast uh, at the behest of the health ministry. And I think that's one of the things that, that we could emulate uh, because it did convert into, into rapid diagnostics in the country there. Uh, learning from, from other countries, I guess improving uh, the healthcare expenditure on tuberculosis helps in, uh, in addressing the huge gaps that are, that are present in terms of uh, the burden of the disease and the actual diagnostics and treatment that, that is offered. So the latest test that has been available uh, for the past couple of years now is a test called the Gene Expert. Uh, it's a molecular diagnostic test, and it's a test uh, that diagnoses TB very rapidly in, in as less as, uh, as two hours. And, and it was revolutionary in terms of how good it was at picking up patients with TB as well. The earlier tests which were present, which is uh, looking under, under a microscope looking for TB germs, uh, were almost as, as old as 100 years old and uh, had a very poor sensitivity. We were missing out about 40% of uh, patients with TB with the earlier tests. And this is a much more sensitive test uh, that picks up patients earlier. And earlier diagnostic automatically con uh, diagnostics would mean earlier treatment and therefore the person is not there in the community spreading the germs to other people. So you're, you're, you're uh, helping in infection control in a way. And it also means that the person will get treatment early and uh, and in a more efficient manner. So I would, in terms of diagnostics, I think the gene expert is definitely a game changer in that sense. So that's, that's something that we need to pick up uh, and, and a test that needs to, to be utilized more. In terms of treatment, there are two new drugs which are, which are on the landscape right now. There's a drug called uh, Bedequilin, which is, which, is uh, which is sold under the brand name called Surturo, which is now available through the, through the government prog programs in certain specific centers. And I, I think it's a, it's a useful addition to our armamentarium of TB drugs. There's also a drug called Delaminid, which is uh, not yet available in the country, but hopefully will be soon. And these are extremely useful drugs for a disease that has not had any new drugs in a very long time. So uh, the idea is that uh, these drugs should not be available in the open market because we need to protect these drugs uh, such that the individuals don't develop resistance to it if they are used, uh, if they are abused and not used in the right manner possible. So. Uh, as of now, the model is to provide these drugs only through the government, and, and so affordability should not hopefully therefore be an issue because the government would provide these drugs free of cost. 
Uh, I hope that it's not available on the open market because these drugs have, uh, again, the potential for physicians using it indiscriminately and generating resistance uh, to such drugs. So the other challenges are, are, are very often related to uh, people not diagnosing the disease quick enough. So, so very often uh, patients, uh, as their first point of contact, see physicians in the private sector and uh, very often antibiotics are prescribed for a very prolonged period of time before anyone starts thinking of tuberculosis as a possibility. When tuberculosis is thought of as a possibility, the, the, the newer tests are often underutilized as a result of which the diagnosis doesn't get made. And unfortunately, when the diagnosis does get made as well, uh, the treatment, uh, especially in the private sector, is often subpar uh, because people very often have not updated their knowledge and skills at treating tuberculosis. So uh, tuberculosis is a disease which basically manifests in symptoms before you can actually just, just screen in patients who don't have symptoms. Uh, screening has been used as, as a tool in certain countries where people go from door to door asking people whether they have cough, whether they have yeah. fever, which has been lasting for two weeks or more. And that's an excellent tool, but unfortunately it's, it's very uh, heavy on manpower. It's very manpower driven. You would need that kind of manpower to go from door to door to screen for it. But uh, I think it's a disease that warrants that kind of, those kinds of steps as well. Right, so I think that's an excellent idea as well. If they could, so this, was, this is something which is called active screening, where you actually actively seek out cases. Uh, passive screening is where you tell individuals to report yeah. to the government if they already have symptoms. And I think there is, uh, I think Amitabh Bachchan is, is on board right now telling people that, that if they are coughing for more than two weeks, they should report uh, to a near, nearest health center and, and seek treatment. So making people aware of uh, the need to get tested for TB is, is an absolute step in the right direction. But yes, active intervention also possibly has a role.